2,800, 3,000, 3,250, 3,300. So you see as it wakes up, it gets faster and faster. First, I'll show you the voltage on each individual cell. We'll just start from the top one and go down. And then uh, I'll short the uh, cells out through the meter. And so we'll show the current, which should be somewhere between uh, 800 to 1100 microamps on each individual cell. If you, that's that way you'll know that they're, they're strong cells. Um, and then I will show you the test with, with some equipment. And we'll power up each individual cell and we'll see what they produce. Okay, first up is is the voltage. I just wanted to show you there's you know, it's just a standard volt multimeter. Alright, so cell number one. I think you can see this. Can you see that okay? Let's try it there. Cell number one is 1.796. Cell two 1.784. Cell three 1.80 Cell 4, 1.788, 5 is 1.784, and 1.783 for 6. So all about 1.78, that's, that's not bad. Okay, now we're going to put it on microamps, and we're just going to short it. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, so we'll just short... Uh, We'll just short the cell just for a couple of seconds. You don't want to do this a long time because you weaken the cells if you do it. So don't 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 run a load on them that kills the cell, and don't short it out for long periods of time. Anyway, so here we are. So there's a thousand ninety-eight. That's good. Thousand ninety-six. Number three is thousand ninety-nine. It'll drop if you keep it on there. Oops, that was three. Okay. So four thousand ninety-six. 1095 and last one 1090. Okay, so that's the shorted. Now we'll go for the load. Okay, this is the 5 millimeter white LED with the booster circuit board attached to it. The booster pushes it up to, you know, power it up to the 3.4 volts that it needs to be uh, bright. It can go up to, I think, 5 volts altogether but it'll make it uh, super bright with this little booster circuit so also then there's this motor now I put a little magnet here and here on this motor simply because I've wore this thing out so bad that the the, ar the armature rattles a lot so I put that on and it kind of pulls it up in that in, in that direction and quiets it down a little bit uh, that's the only reason but this is not a 5 volt motor I might have said that at one time and maybe it was a different motor because this just came from a box of, of motors I've got uh, lots of LED or <laughs> LED I've got lots of DC motors but but they're all in a box and I just picked up some small ones and this one's about one inch in diameter by uh, one and an eighth inch long and in the front on stamped into the uh, casing here you can't see it but it says Hong Kong and on the back on the plastic on the back there all it says is Mabuchi so it's a Mabuchi motor and it'll run as low as about 0.8 volts so I'd say it's probably a one and a half volt motor maybe 1.2 maybe 2 volts I don't know somewhere within that range small voltage so it's great for tests because it's a pretty good size motor it's not one of the little itty bitty pencil sized drone motors so it, it does take a, a little bit of current to run that. So plus running the circuit board here and the LED should be a really good test. And what I have done is connected them both together. And let's see if each individual cell will uh, twitch this little motor. Maybe just a maybe a little twitch and maybe a dim bulb. Nah, it's not going to do that. You'll see. Okay, I've also got a digital tech here so you can see the speed that that little motor is going. So let's connect this to cell 1. All right, so we got a little bit more than a twitch going there. That uh, LED is at full brightness, by the way. I don't know if you can see the numbers on this, but right now that motor is spinning at 3,260, 50. It's coming down a bit. Okay, let's try cell two. All right. 
full brightness on that LED, 2900, 3000, 3000, <clears throat> 3200, 30, it's, it's going higher, then it comes down a little bit lower. It's doing its job. Oops, I didn't get it on there. Now watch this. Watch as the cell wakes up, the LED gets brighter and brighter, and the speed comes up on the motor. You see that? 2300, 2400, 2500. I hope you can see the numbers on this. Okay, so it does wake up. It does take a little bit sometimes for the cell to wake up. Okay, we're on uh, cell number four. And 2800, 3000, 3250, 3300. So you see as it wakes up, it gets faster and faster. Now that's quite a load, remember. I mean, there's a lot of friction on the little motor, and we're running the, the circuit board and the 3.4 volt LED. So I just wanted you to see that, yes, we can get a, a 3,000 RPM twitch out of that motor. So it's... Uh, <laughs> and it's starting up. It's waking up. 2,600 was 2,400, 2,800. And back to 27, so it's going to come up and down because we're really pulling a lot to run both devices at the same time. And the last cell. Look at that. See how dim the LED is when it starts? And it gets brighter and brighter <laughs> until it's at full brightness. And, of course, the RPM is climbing while it's doing that, too. 2,800. So, there they are. They're good.